making his way to the ring then the 19 year old nicknamed the little giant Johannes Aguilagos of Cuba who have such a fine track record in the Olympic Games just winning two goals four years ago in London they'll be projecting better Great Britain's Galal Yafai from Birmingham in England. The latest to come off a conveyor belt of an illustrious boxing family. One of his brothers, Khalid, is the current IBF and WBA Intercontinental Super Flyweight Champion and competed in the Olympic Games in 2008. And other brother, Gamal, has recently claimed the Commonwealth Super Bantamweight title in just his seventh fight. And obviously Argilagos comes into this, the form favourite and the young Breton Blue is going to have to produce something really special here. Plenty of support, as you'd expect, for the Cuban. Introducing the boxer in the blue corner, representing Great Britain. Apresentando o pugilista no canto azul, que representa a Grã-Bretanha, Galal Yafai. Johannes Aguilagos, 2013 Junior World Championship gold medalist and gold medal as the youngest member of the Cuban team at last year's World Championships in Doha, Qatar. Well, Yafai of Great Britain in the blue has fought already, won his opening preliminary bout, all three rounds to hit his credit against Simplice Fotsala of Cameroon. First appearance for Aguilagos in the red. It's going to be anything but simple for Yafai. Look at the power punches straight away from Aguilagos. Just loading up and he solved that southpaw stance that Yafai has. A very good defensive boxer, the Brit. But he's on the attack here. A message from the Great Britain coach Robert McCracken will be maximum concentration against this Supreme boxer, Agiagos. And he's given him plenty of respect, Agiagos. He's got his guard up high. He knows that he has to deal with the southpaw slick style of your fight. You mentioned the, the fighting brothers. He's by far the best defensive tactical boxer. And he's going to need it today against the might of the Cuban. Yafai, the son of Yemeni parents. Having a good right hand in there. On the left. Agiagos has felt the sting of the left and right hand of Yafai, who swings and again, another. Yep, he's landed a couple of good ones, as you see. And Agiagos just a little slow out of the traps here. And Yafai is not interested in reputation. However, walking into a few shots on the way in. A 
good volume from Galal Yafai. Magiagos on his toes. Yafai has him in his radar. Nagiagos just dropping the hands a little bit now. He's beginning to find his form and his range. A lot of pressure on the Cuban coming in. He's expected to be in the gold medal contention. But at the moment, the Brit is battering him in the face with a couple of good shots. Good stiff jab there from your fight. That's a good right from Agiagos, countered by a left from Yafai. Lovely little hook on the inside, and again from Agiagos, he's so accurate in his work. He's a master boxer. Fast hands the Cuban. Cuba, Cuba, rings around the Rio Centro Pavilion. But he's not banished to run rings round Yafai just yet. It's been an intriguing opening, not much to choose. The Cuban could edge it there with a couple of lice. Attention stealing blows for the judges. End of round one and high quality action. Enjoyed that one. World class stuff. It's tough on your fire, of course, but performed really well, opened aggressively. The Cuban coach advising his charge to go with straight punches, just like that one. But the hooks of Yafai have had some success as well. It's just that timing as the young Brett leaves his chin hanging. Let's see how the judges scored the opening round. Two in favour of Agiagos. Remember, three of the five judges at ringside scores will count. Early advantage to Johannes Agiagos. Round two of three. Light flyweight at the Rio Olympics. And Galal Yafai coming out like a house on fire here. He wants to put the pressure on from the start. He caught the attention of one judge's eyes due to the volume of punches. But Argyaga is so slick and so used to it. He's treating the southpaw. A little bit of contempt here, leaning back. And <laughs> incredible. Pivots off the spot. And leaves Gafai chasing shadows. Nice exchange between both fighters. Good attack here from Yafai. Doesn't carry the strongest punching power. Yeah, of the three brothers, he's the defensive master. He's a great, he's got very good head movement, the boxer in blue. And he's going to need it because Johannes Argiagos is beginning to find his range here. So easy on the eye, the Cuban. Has the lot. He's a master at work. And he's also circling away from the left hand, the power shot as you called from Yafai, always moving the opposite way. Yafai very keen to close down the distance, knowing how good Agiagos is at range. He's doing a decent job as well, cutting off the ring, trying to push the fighter back in red onto the ropes. Credit worthy attempt so far, but the class well, blue wing the referee just a little quiet there Yafai on the front foot as he has been since the opening bell Diagos covers up the only danger with this strategy for Yafai is that the Cuban doesn't have to look for him he's always there right in front of him Contrast that to the Samba style of the Cuban who just eases away. Lovely feet, Agiagos. 
the fire continues to stalk hands down style so evident Argiagos of Cuba in the red end of round two we await the judges verdict on that another busy round Well, the British courts advising there to stay relaxed, you're well in contention and it's true, a fair reflection, Yafai has produced a couple of flurries, but the masterful work of the man in red, let's see what the judges think. All three for Johannes Aguiagos of Cuba, Yafai has a lot to do in the third round. He's been in the conversation anyway, he's been around it. But it's just a pleasure to watch Argiagos. Not, of course, if you're Yafai. The Great Britain boxer. He's a part of the British Lionheart squad in the World Series franchise. There's a 2 1 record in that. His first Olympics. Of course. The first as well for this talented 19-year-old Argiagos. He's finding a home for the right hand now, Argiagos. He's set his feet more, which means you're going to put more power on your shots. So just trying to make a bit of a statement here. He'll have been nervous too. Lots of pressure on the Cuban team. But he's been eating pressure since he was a junior as Gafai eats his jab one more time. Protecting the body well there, Argiagos, elbows tucked in tight. Jafai right. certainly hasn't been overawed by the challenge here. Well, when your brothers are world level fighters, you know he sparred with them all the time. So he's more than used to the rough stuff but just can't get the Cuban off of him. And the sign of a great fighter is they do what they want, whenever they want, and that's been the case for Argiagos, composed and clean work throughout. Midway through the third and final round at light flyweight. Right hook there from Argiagos, getting a little messy, referee steps in. Just to steal a couple of little uppercuts in there, you fight. But smothering the work of the Brit is the very astute Cuban boxer. That's a couple of good rights there from Yafai. Countered by Argiagos. Nothing really landing cleanly here from either boxer. Well, a fight's broken out here. Yafai's obviously trying to drag him into deep water, put him in trouble, and Argiagos breathing heavily. It goes back to boxing and lands a couple of great shots there. Aggression, of course, catches the eye of the judges of a pro boxing scoring system. Used to be over a punch count, but that's now been changed. Yafai and Argiagos both very busy over three rounds there, but certainly you fancy very much that the Cuban has done enough. Yeah, I would fully agree with that. Johannes Argiagos, just a little bit more seasoning, a little bit more experience in class. Gael Yafai has certainly learned a lot from this. He knows he can hang with the best fighters in the world. Had some success. But he'll need to go back and take those lessons into the gym. Because this young man here, well, he should be in contention for the medal matches. 
the little giant as he's known Johannes Agiagos Great Britain supporters for Galal Yafai but I think his body language tells the story that the Cuban will have the decision here we await the official verdict from the judges yeah it'll be understandably disconsolate in defeat but by no means dejected he fought well but much more to come from the Cuban who's got this nervous one out of his system here's the result ladies and gentlemen the winner by split decision senhoras e senhores o vencedor por decisão dividida no canto vermelho representando o Cuba so Johannes Agiagos on a split decision the endeavour and the work rate of Yafai gaining him that third and final round 